2024 is the woke apocalypse of video games, and it just keeps getting sweeter. <laughs> yeah, bad dad joke, I'm sorry. For Sweet Baby Inc., who's now apparently fired Chris Kindred, there's a lot of lore behind Chris Kindred and everything that uh, this guy did. And uh, as they're on the run, we reported last week, Sweet Baby Inc.'s trying to rebrand as like some story consultant company, uh, pretending like they're not some sort of DEI agenda kind of thing. It's kind of crazy. Uh, and uh, we're going to get into this news because uh, this is this is some happy times as the culture rolls along in just a moment. My name's John Delarose, everybody. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Join us here, and uh, please sign up for my newsletter. I'm a creator. Uh, I make books and comics, and uh, YouTube's kind of like my secondary thing. Uh, and so if you look at this, I've got a newsletter where, you, just for signing up, I give you a novella, a novel, and a graphic novel uh, just for joining. Um, and I uh, want to keep people on here just in case because, like, I'm very scared. I get deplatformed quite a bit <laughs> because I'm too based and I, I don't want to lose track of you guys. So thank you so much for joining and uh, and hanging out. And uh, this is in the description below, along with other links uh, to support me. We got like Subscribestar, uh, it's a Patreon alternative, as well as my books on Amazon if you want to check those out and uh, actually support the channel too. Thank you so much for being there. It's been a great couple of months and it's all because of gamers. And so uh, Sweet Baby Inc. has allegedly fired Chris Kindred the employee who attempted to cancel Brazilian gamer Cabrutus Rambo after he created Sweet Baby Inc. detected. Uh, so this is pretty interesting. So this guy uh, went and uh, uh, attacked Cabrutus, if you guys remember, back in April. This is kind of what set off the whole Gamergate 2 thing. Um, and uh, now it looks like he's out. Uh, and so this is just what ends up happening. Uh, it really is. Master of the TDS, uh, the host of Gothic Therapy, um, has said an inside source confirmed with him that Chris Kindred was indeed fired by uh, sweet baby Inc. His his wife uh, and Gothic Therapy co-host Writing Raven declared on the above video, this one here, uh, we have an insider from Sweet Baby Inc. that Chris Kindred has been fired. Uh, he also added, Chris Kindred, the person who started the campaign against Cabrutus Rambo to get his account removed and get the Sweet Baby Inc. detected group removed, was quietly pushed out of Sweet Baby Inc. He added, from what I do know, apparently a lot of people involved in Sweet Baby Inc. were very angry with what Chris Kindred had did. Uh, there's uh, been many calls to Kim Belair and other people in charge to get him removed, and they were successful. However, to the annoyance of my source, they have not released any information publicly. Uh, I was given the go-ahead to break it down here. This is pretty interesting. What a backfire, uh, because I obviously he was trying to get the cancel culture thing going, and uh, what he did was end up destroying the Sweet Baby Inc. brand. I, I, it is a brand, believe it or not. Uh, because it got out into the wild and made them look like a bunch of cancel pigs, which they are. And uh, they had to remove that because uh, it, it, they're trying to rebrand and get themselves into a better spot. Very, very funny. Um, in a live stream, they provided more information, including a screenshot from Kindred's Instagram that has been updated where he claims he previously worked at Sweet Baby Inc. Uh, he also shared a message that he received from his source. His source told him that Chris Kindred isn't a part of SBEI anymore, Many people were not happy with what he had done, and so he left or was pushed out. Nothing was shared publicly for obvious reasons, but that is the latest. It also told him, again, don't want to get involved in all of this, but that's the above. Uh, he also added that Kindred was fired months ago. He was let go, pushed out months ago, uh, and they just didn't say anything about it. So if you look at it, his bio says uh, illustrator, writer, narrative designer, and it uh, does not mention any Sweet Baby Inc. Link LinkedIn did not get updated, it looks like. Um, and uh, he did work on the upcoming usual June game for Sweet Baby Inc., but this was 10 months ago. Now, uh, he has gone protected on Twitter <laughs> once this announcement came out. It's very funny. These people are just like, I, I never understood this. You, you have a platform like Twitter, to, uh, X, I'm sorry, I'm dead naming it. Uh, and it's it's meant to promote yourself and promote what you're doing in your agenda or whatever. Uh, and they always just like go hide uh, when this kind of stuff happens. It's like they just can't ever be honest. They can't ever just uh, be open about what they're doing. And this is exactly what Sweet Baby Inc's doing like on their rebranding and all that. They're trying to hide what they're doing. Uh, they, they know that what they're doing is wrong. They know that it's hurting the video games that they're working on. And so they're just hiding the fact that they're working on the games and hiding the, what their agenda is uh, because the general public just caught on. It's not that they're going to change. Don't 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 like applaud Sweet Baby Inc. and think that they're doing great for getting rid of Chris Kindred. Kim Belair is still a disaster who hates gamers and hates you. 
but now they're just going into hiding and trying to do this. I'm seeing this across the board. This is with Hollywood, uh, with uh, with Marvel Comics. If you listen, if you look at like all the CEO sort of uh, talk that they put out there, they're always saying things like, "Oh, you know, we're going to be about story first, not about the political agenda." Uh, they're making a lot of noise like that. But then you look at the products that they're coming out with, and it's almost exactly the same as it's been before. Right? They just don't market it uh, up front with the. Uh, hey, we are diverse, uh, because what they found out with that is the marketing of that actually has hurt sales incredibly. So they're trying to release the same products and just shift their marketing around. It's like a a three-card Monty sort of setup right here um, and trying to hide things from you, the consumer, uh, rather than actually uh, make any substantive changes, which is what you actually, the consumer, want, hoping that you, the consumer, will just come back in and just uh, settle in and just not notice some of the things that they're doing in the cultural agenda at this point. But it's pretty obvious. It's keeping going. Video games is still doing it. Uh, we have we're, we have the deal with the Lara Croft Netflix series, which I'll, I'll talk about for a moment uh, once we get into it. Uh, it. That's just ridiculous, and uh, it's pretty obvious what they're doing with the character and and just trying to destroy the male gaze on the character. Uh, but with this, uh, what's happening? Um, you know, you, you've got Disney coming out with uh, two lesbian witch shows over the summer. Uh, which is pushing just absolute degeneracy. You've got uh, comics doubling down. Uh, we covered on my comic book channel, JDA Talks Comics, uh, that uh, you know the ultimate Marvel universe has just gone woker than it's ever been over there before. It's crazy. So this is what's happening across culture. They're just going into hiding and not being as upfront about it. So before, Chris Kindred tried to cancel uh, Carbutus, as we know. This is his famous tweet. The Steam Curator Harassment Group Sweet Baby Inc. Detected. Very funny, because it's just a list of video games. How's that a harassment group? But this is what they do. Anybody who disagrees with their agenda is a harasser, a troll, a uh, a terrible person. Uh, And uh, if you call it out, if you notice what they're doing, uh, their their bad behavior, which is actual harassment and trolling, that's what this is, uh, you know, you've got to be just other person, right? Here's them trying to be slick so they don't get reported. No, we're not trying to be slick so we don't get reported. We're just telling the truth here. Even with the discriminatory language filed off, the group itself fails the code of conduct. Oh, no. And this is what they do. They try to get you reported, try to get you banned from everywhere, um, and then uh, urge mass reporting. I had this done to me on Kickstarter uh, last week. Uh, If You can go watch my video on how Kickstarter banned me. Even though I've been a comic creator who's made a lot of uh, books and and fulfilled. I've been about the model creator over there. Obviously, they don't like my YouTube content over here, right? And it's it's because of people like Chris Kindred who mass report me as well. It's a problem, and this is what they do. These are the people who harass, and they are projecting, like always with these people, report the creator since he loves his account so much. So it couldn't happen to a nicer guy uh, as he's gone out there uh, and, of course, uh, taking care of this sort of thing. And, uh, and uh, well, he's gone. That's that's one for now. But he's not going to be leaving the video game industry. We always, of course, know this, right? Um, and we know that, um, that uh, it's just going to be a shuffling of the deck, and it's just a rebrand. It's not that they actually, you know, don't like Chris Kindred or what he's doing. They actually agree with it, but the pushback was just so big that they had to do something. Otherwise, they're going to lose their client list because the client list of video game companies is going, this guy's a liability for selling games. And Sweet Baby Inc., I believe, has become a liability for selling games as a result, hence the website rebrand last week as well. Now, uh, pretty ridiculous stuff looking at the Laura Croft thing. I I posted this to X this morning because it's pretty funny. But you can see... Uh, th- this has been stirring around on the internet with uh, the Netflix Laura Croft. A couple of things, obviously, the uh, a- androgynous looking body uh, that they're putting on all females at this point uh, in animation and in video games. It is a concerted effort. And the thing is, like, like people say, oh, it's not a big deal, right? Uh, they love to troll you with that. Uh, it wouldn't be if it, if, it wasn't, if it was just like a one-time thing or it was just some design, but it's always a redesign in this direction, right? And then they, of course, gave the character a man jaw uh, to try to try to like, uh, again, androgenize her again. That's the thing that they've been doing all the way around is they're trying to make men demasculinized and women defeminized. It's part of the agenda. And the funny part here is like, I'll look at the voice actress. <laughs> now this is a Photoshop drawing, uh, but the voice actress clearly like embodies Laura Croft as a character far more than the Netflix version of the animated show. And it's just absolutely ridiculous. So this is going viral on X this morning. Pretty funny stuff. 
Uh, and uh, it just goes to show what the Sweet Baby Inc. agenda actually does because this is the same thing that Netflix is trying to perpetuate. So we get a W for now in the removal of Chris Kindred, but I would not uh, just uh, applaud for Sweet Baby Inc. yet. These people still hate you. They still want you dead. Uh, and so we've got a lot of work to do to flatten the curve for video games in the future, my friends, and make sure that we can still have fun. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for being there. Support our channel. As I said, you can follow me on X too if you enjoy. And uh, grab my your free graphic novel and a couple of free novels as well. Uh, sign up for my newsletter in the description below. Thank you guys so much. We'll be back soon.